everybody is feeling good this, this evening here. We have an exciting opportunity here in Columbus City Schools to celebrate a young man who is a, a nationally ranked player, has done everything that we've asked him to do as a student, and, and has really set, you know, set the stage for the type of opportunities we're looking to highlight here in our school district. So as young people, you know, as, you, as, you, as you're putting in all those extra hours, you're working with your coaches and you're doing all those special things, just know that um, all that hard work has, has a payoff at the end. There's a, pot, there's a pot of gold at the end of that rainbow. And so, we, you know, we understand that a lot of you are here. You've probably known this young man um, since he maybe was just a little, a little toddler running around, you know, and, and just being able to get into all that stuff about basketball. You're a part of his family, his village, his support team that brings him to this point. Um, this evening, we're going to, you know, allow, obviously, Jalen is going to come up here in a moment. We're going to bring the entire family up on the stage. We wanted you to have some video feed here so you can just really see the highlight and see how special this young man was on the court and all the wonderful things that he does. This is a big moment in any person's life. Young people, as you begin to make those selections in your next college opportunity or your, or your next chapter after high school, this is a big opportunity for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to take about 10 or 15 seconds and do a stage transition. We're going to bring this screen up. The family's going to come up here to the stage. We're going to move some of these placards. As you can see here, uh, Dalen has narrowed his choices down to Arizona State University, Clemson University, the Arkansas Razorbacks, the Ohio State University, Xavier University. So he has a great selection in front of him, and we're excited to be a part of this chapter. So just hold with us here. We're going to transition the stage, and um, the moment all of us are here and been waiting for is going to happen here shortly. So uh, just give us a second, and we'll transition.
in, you get a welcome to everybody who's watching, talk about why we're here, what we're about to do, the type of player that you are, which schools are in contention here. And then once he starts talking about those schools that are in your finalist list, that's kind of his cue of saying, like, all right, I'm about to go to you live now, type of thing. And okay. Then he'll say, all right, now let's go live to him. I'll have a conversation with you back and forth. I'll ask you some questions. And then eventually he will hit you with the, the question, where are you going to be playing college basketball? And we tell all of our guys, man, take your time, take your full speech, thank whoever you want to thank, acknowledge whatever you'd like to acknowledge. It's your moment, your time. You're going to have this video forever. So do it the way you want to do it. And then it also buys more time for people like family, friends, and fans, the opportunity to get in the link as it's going along. Then you'll put on your hat. Everyone's going to celebrate. Travis is going to start talking. He's going to try and start talking to you. So once things settle down, I'll ask you some questions about the school you chose, why, so on and so forth. And then once he's good and you're good, he'll get you out of there and you're free to go. Okay. And uh, outside of that, the live stream is getting ready to go up here in about two or three minutes. We'll probably put a countdown timer up. And then once we are done with the countdown timer, we are live live. So any questions? Uh, no, that sounds perfect. Thank you. All right, Travis, I'm going to open up with a solo shot with you. And I will throw up the countdown. Uh, and once that countdown comes down, we'll be live, all right? All right, sounds good. About this young man we might even turn this into four minutes of an open mic if we have to um but but i'll share this uh you know dalen as a young guy um i i can brag on him because i've had a lot of fun watching him play basketball in our school district um and, and and i'm one of those people who has been around our basketball for a long time i'm a former student and and, and i graduated from the school system and, w and what you're seeing here is one of the best. I'm not just talking about a young person who's one of Columbus City Schools' best. Dalen is a Central Ohio, one of the best hoopers that we have. So when you hear those names, for, the, for those hoopers that are here with us this afternoon, when you hear the Andrew Lavenders, the J.J. Sullenders, the Chris Quinns, the Wessons, when you hear those names, Dalen's name fits right in with all of those names. It's a young man who just does a little bit of everything on the basketball court. We're excited that we're home for him here and we're excited that we get a chance to celebrate this opportunity. What you're kind of hearing here on the, um, on the feed here is a national feed that's also showcasing and highlighting Dalen's selection here today. So there's a narrator there that's going to be asking some questions, and we move the microphone around so you'll be able to hear the questions and the answers, and then obviously we'll get to the point where um, Dalen makes his selection. So, so, so you should be really, you know, like if you know Dalen personally, you should be happy if you're an Afrocentric student, you get a chance to see one of your classmates have a really special day here today. H how am I doing on time? I'm just making up stuff. Two, I, I got two more minutes? I don't know if I have two more minutes of stuff here. Uh, yes, indeed. I don't know that I do, but, but I can share this with you. Um, you know, I, I make this comment with, with people in, in high school sports all the time. And the comment that I make is there's just some kids that you just need to make, you know, you need to go out your way and go watch a game. 
So if you sit here today and you haven't actually seen, number one, a great brand of basketball by Coach Bates and what they put out here at Afrocentric as a school, but even more importantly, if you want to get a chance to see a young person before they vault on and take that next step, I always share, come out, spend your $5. Our ticket's been $5 for about 30 or 40 years, right? Come spend your $5. And come sit in the stands on a Tuesday or Friday night and watch Dalen play. You'll, you'll have a really good time. It'll be a fun game to watch. And, and Afrocentric's team in general is an exciting brand of basketball. So even if you um, are, are, are not just here solely to focus on Dalen, you're going you're gonna to get a good game. What am I doing on time now? One minute. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to move the mic. I'm going to get out the way. This is about this young man and his special moment. And so uh, we'll, put, we'll set the mic up, and, you'll, and we'll shortly hear, you'll hear the Q&A, and you'll hear the selection. channel otherwise known as commitment hq i am travis branham a national recruiting analyst here at 24 7 sports and today we have a second very special guest in dalen swain the number 114 overall prospect who will be making his college decision in mere moments he is a six foot six wing out of columbus ohio with a talented wing who can impact the game in a variety of ways with his playmaking, his rebounding, his defending, and as he continues to improve his shot making ability, this is a kid who can be a dynamic two way and versatile wing moving forward in the years to come. He has received his talent and his play out in the court has earned him over a dozen over a dozen offers and he has since been list down to five finalists the Arizona State, Arkansas. single weekend playing whether it be with your AAU team or your high school basketball team at the same time you're trying to make this one of the most important decisions you're going to make in your entire life what's it like going through that experience um uh it's like memories you never forget you know I know it was my last AAU season uh, we all wanted to make a statement you know we didn't get to win Peace Jam but we definitely made memories um and we did some things that will stick with us forever, so it was super exciting. Awesome. There's a lot of fans that are tuning in right now that are just getting familiar, excited, and anxious to find out if you're going to be coming to play for their school. And a lot of them haven't seen you play yet, so describe your game. When you're out on the court, what are you doing? Uh, I'm a big guard. I'm 6'7". I can play the 1, 2, the 3, uh, rebound, run the break, facilitate. I can shoot, score, do whatever the coach asks me to do on the court. You received over a dozen offers. You've cut this list down to five schools, and this this is an interesting list. There's there's schools from all over the country. So what made uh, these five schools kind of stand out in your mind? Uh, just the schools, you know, that recruited me the hardest, and I felt like I would fit best in, in that program. Awesome, man. Well, uh, the moment is yours, Dalen. Tell the world where you will be headed to further your college basketball career. Uh, well, first of all, you know, I would like to thank God for putting me in this position and blessing me 
continuously blessing me and giving me all the talent that I have. And you know, next I would like to thank my family, especially my mom for like the countless sacrifices she made for me. She missed work, family time, everything to make sure I, I was where I needed to be and anything I ever needed, she always made it happen. And that's everybody in my family. And um, they believed in me like even when sometimes I didn't believe in myself and they saw something in me that I didn't know I had and seeing myself, you know, get to where I'm at, I, I just want to thank them for sure. And I definitely want to thank uh, Coach Bates and the African Central coaching staff, Coach Ant, Coach Snake, Coach Barrett um, coming in eighth grade before freshman year started and they, they believed in me before I believed in myself and they saw something in me that I didn't know I had. Um, they put me on the court early and it just, it meant a lot to me. So, and they just continuously invested in my game, my development. Uh, I'd like to thank the All Ohio program, Coach Q, uh, Coach Logan, and those guys, you know, they put me in a position to be where I am too. They helped me a lot with my recruitment. Uh, I'd like to thank my Uncle Jason for sure. You know, he introduced me to like the real game of basketball, showed me a new level of basketball. Um, and you know, with all those things being said, <laughs> I'd like to announce that I'll be continuing my academic and athletic career at Xavier University. <laughs> Couldn't wait holding the excitement. You haven't made this official. So why Xavier? Um, I chose Xavier. I feel like, like I said previously, you know, that's the best fit for me. Um, having an opportunity to play for a coach like Coach Miller, who's coached and produced so many professional players. And you know that's my goal to to be a pro. So, you know, playing in the big east, I feel like that's a conference I'll thrive in, me being a big guard, you know, a lot of fast-paced offense in transition where I feel like I'm my best. So I feel like that's where I fit. Yeah, that fit and opportunity, uh, just me and you talking prior to, to this, uh, you said it played a massive role and it really, um, it's something you really emphasized. Uh, so tell us, how, how does Sean Miller and how do you see yourself fitting into this program? Um, I, you know, I, I got the opportunity to come in and start as a freshman, play really early you know, with the guys they have graduating this year and Kobe Jones possibly going to the NBA after this year. So um, he, he sees me as a positionless basketball player. Uh, I, can, I can run a one, which, you know, I, I definitely believe in that. I can run a two, three, guard the best player, run the offense, run a break, everything that he needs me to do, and he understands that. Yeah, it's his first season back at Xavier. And since he's taken uh, the helm back over, you're now his third four-star commitment, and you join Reed Ducharme and Trey Green. You guys now have a top 10 class in the country. What is it about Coach Miller that stands out to players like you three that make you guys want to go play for him? Um, he, he believes in, you know, early talent coming in as a freshman. If you progress in producing, he thinks you should be on the floor. And that's not the same with every coach in the country. You clearly have a lot of friends and family there, uh, and you were from Columbus, so you're heading not too far down the road. What does it mean to you to get to stay fairly close to home and play in front of your friends and family? Uh, it's great. You know, I wouldn't say location meant a lot in my recruitment process, but it's just it's just a plus. You know, knowing that I'm heading to Xavier, you know, it's not too far from home, and I know they'll be at every game. You got to play against. Trey and Reed on the EYBL circuit as you're playing for All Ohio Red. Uh, what do you see in, in the uh, your future classmates' games as you got to compete against them, and how will you three fit together? Uh, Trey playing against him. I played him one time, and that one time he showed he, if not the best point guard in the country, he's one of them. Uh, he ran the Mocan offense, you know, who won Peach Jam, and he was Peach Jam MVP. And he's super tough. He's a leader. 
and you know Reed, he can shoot with the best of them. He's super tough. He plays defense. So I feel like we're building something special, and we got a chance to make a statement. Awesome. Well, congrats again, Dalen. I know this is Thank an exciting you. night, and you got a lot of celebrating to do. So we'll let you get back to your friends and family, man. Thanks for coming on. Thank you. Thank you for having me.